Well, here we are with what's probably our last training update. Um, I'm a week and a day out from Open Worlds and training has been going fairly well. Uh, we're behind on recording this just because of life things. So this is a bit of week 14 wrap up as well as part of week 15 and we'll tell you what we're doing for the next day or two and go from there. So week 14 was basically prioritizing making sure openers or just above openers were moving well in all three of the lifts. Uh, Sunday, Monday, I did my squat and my bench. Uh, then Wednesday, deadlift. Thursday, I combined my last two workouts um, and did some shirted pin press and then just my regular pause squats, snatch grip deadlifts, bunch of accessory last week. Um, body's feeling really good. Things are moving really well. We're not going to share much. Uh, from that you guys will see sort of where things are at next week uh, when I compete and we'll go from there. Week 15, uh, Monday I did just some raw movements, raw singles up to like 165 squat, 110 bench and 160 deadlift um, just to basically keep body moving. I won't do anything now so that was Monday. Thursday of this week I'll do my openers for all three. Um, all on the same day and I'll prioritize trying to get the timing as close to a meet as possible so from when I start my squat warm-ups to when I do my opener um, I'll make that be about an hour and then between my squat and my bench opener I'll try and keep that to about 20-25 minutes because there'll be a 20 minute break in between uh, squats and bench for my eighth flight because it's just one flight and then same thing with deadlift um, keeping that to about 20 minutes and just trying to replicate uh, competition as much as we can so with commands um, which we do sort of regular on a regular basis um, but the biggest thing will be the timing just watching the clock trying to keep uh, probably seven minutes between my last warm-up and what my opener will be so hopefully that moves well I, I'm anticipating it should um, body's feeling really good so it's almost showtime as far as body weight goes uh, last week I got another calorie increase on Tuesday. Thursday I did my high carb day because it was my last training day of the week. So I had my 100 grams of extra carbs which we've been doing this whole uh, cycle. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday we were traveling. We were in Toronto at Swiss. Um, so my nutrition wasn't perfect. I know I was over my calories and macros uh, each one of those days probably by two to 300 calories. So Monday when I got home, body weight was 73.5, which I think a lot of that has to do with the sodium of the food I was eating, as well as I just didn't drink very much water throughout the whole weekend because we were in sessions. Uh, so, or as much water as I normally do, I guess. So I think just not drinking water, the extra sodium, um, body held on to a little bit more. But yesterday I was 72.5, and today I was 72.1. Um, so <clears throat> it's either something to do with the high over the weekend or um, the last number of training cycles I've noticed that as soon as I start this deload week my body weight starts to plummet which I think it probably has more to do with that. I really have no idea why it happens. Uh, if anybody has any insight onto that feel free to share it with me um, mostly because I'm just curious. I think my best guess is that it's something to do with like the water that's being held in the muscles and because I'm not training as frequently now then that starts to get released. Just a guess. It could be something totally different. It could be unrelated. Um, but <clears throat> basically since I started working with Blaine I've noticed this and it, I do take a bigger deload taper into competition since working with him than we did previously so I'm not sure if it's related to that and just the volume that I do outside of that and then once we get sort of that week, two weeks out, less less volume, so then the body doesn't hang on to the water. I have no idea. Feel free to share if you have some thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, body weight's exactly where it should be. Uh, this week, just focusing on recovery, basically. Um, openers, and then more recovery. Uh, making sure my sleep is top priority right now. Uh, and then we travel on Sunday. So I'll land in Sweden on Monday, 
then we've got a couple of days there uh, to acclimatize and competing on Thursday. So it's getting really close now, getting excited just to compete, to see people that I only see once or twice a year um, at competitions and see what happens next Thursday. So our plan from here is we'll probably do some sort of wrap up after Worlds, um, see how things play out. We'll give you guys an update on how things went. Um, if there's anything you would like us to sort of follow, address in the next week leading up to competition that you'd like to see afterwards, be sure to let us know. Uh, and beyond that, if you have any questions about anything specific, uh, as always, let us know in the comments here or shoot us a message through various mediums and we can help you out that way. Uh, I just wanna take a chance to thank you guys who have given me feedback on these. I've got had a ton of people reach out to me um, saying they appreciate seeing sort of the behind the scenes of training. Um, that's the thing with our sport is that you see the nine lifts on the platform but you don't see all of the preparation that goes into it. So I do think um, it was good for me to hear from lots of you that you are getting something from these. Um, just because like we talked about the amount of work that it takes to put into these to get them out to you. So thank you for that. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you after Worlds.